Good bless this Saturday night, uh, April the 13th, 2024, is about 9.37 p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world, all around the world, all around the world, all around the world, with the universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like me or anything that I say or do. That's your prerogative. You have a First Amendment to the United States Constitution freedom of speech, press, gather, etc. You got a, a, a right to, to the Fifth Amendment uh, to remain silent. But what I want to talk about today is, you know, uh, uh, I'm getting comments, which, you know, I don't even respond to them, uh, concerning the YouTube that I uploaded, uh, speaking about white supremacists in the Charles, Missouri Police Department in the City Hall. If you ain't white supremacists in the City Hall or the Police Department or the Sheriff Department, then it shouldn't bother you, but white supremacists is there. You see, Robert Hearns is a white supremacist. Let me tell you something about Robert Hearns. When I talk to people in the town, once he had on his Facebook page, y'all, when uh, oh, oh, Barack Obama and Michelle Obama was president and uh, the first lady, he had Barack and Michelle on his Facebook page and he had their heads as monk, I mean, apes or uh, gorillas. He looked at that as being funny, but somebody checked him and he said he was just playing. But it wasn't no joke to black people cause when people, when white people call black people monkeys or apes, they calling them the N word. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You see, it's no strange happening with Bobby Hearns. You see, I'll never forget. And a lot of my followers, Facebook friends and people that living in Charles, Missouri, remember when he came to my house a little bit after midnight almost 20 years ago him and a white police officer by the name Beth Acap Beth Acap was a white female police officer that slept with so many men she was married about five times but they falsified some documents on me you see I had two handwritten ex expert hand analysis to look at these so-called victim statement that was handwritten. The question was asked, asked by Robert Hearns, which he written in ink, and the alleged answer was written in ink by the alleged victim. Both of them looked exactly the same. Both of them was exactly the same. You see, but when you're going up against white supremacists, you see, Robert Hearns got an affidavit, a proper cause affidavit by a female by the name of Jennifer Raffany, who family of big time farmers. You see, I'm a black man that came from up north. They didn't like the fact that I was dating white women. I can date who I want to. You see what I'm saying? Don't no white supremacists and no Ku Klux Klan tell me who I date or who I associate with. I ain't scared of y'all. I was born to die. My daddy was a World War II veteran. My uncle was a, uh, a Korean War veteran. My cousin was a, uh, a Vietnam veteran. My friends and most and all of my family been in the military. But you see, Robert Hearns, got a proper cause affidavit, but never came to court. Ain't that something? Then they had Judge Brown, Lynn Brown, 
all them grew up together. And see, I know they looked at me like Robert Hearns looked at the Obamas as a nigga. You see what I'm saying? But see, I'll never forget it. That's why I got the paperwork in all different places because sooner or later when the feds get enough on him, he going to go down in handcuffs. I'm going to do my best way he can't get no retirement in that position they in, chief of police in Charles, Missouri. See, he done falsified a lot of other stuff. Let me show you how crooked they is in the 33rd Circuit in Charles, Missouri. And those of y'all that know what he's doing and sitting back and ain't saying nothing, y'all going to reap that wrath of God too. They got rid of all the blacks except one, some black female, and I ain't going to even say her name, black female out of East Prairie, Missouri. She know who she is. She probably watching this here. Set up with them other 11 racist white folks and find out the black female not only worked with the so-called alleged victim, but rented a mobile home from the alleged victim and end up buying a, a mobile home from the alleged victim, and we asked for a mistrial. You know what he, the Judge Brown said? He thinks she can uh, 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 judge fairly. You see, all of them going to have to pay for that, but I still stand. You see what I'm saying? I still stand. They offered me all type of pleas. I didn't plead. I ain't going to never plead to something that I didn't do. That was the first conviction, Bob Robert Hearns. The second uh, a conviction was with against Lester Gillespie. Y'all seen the things? He came in my neighborhood. He live in the white people's neighborhood, and ain't nothing, ain't, ain't got nothing wrong with the white people that he live over there with. I know y'all don't want him over there. That's why y'all got him and his daughter in that big old raggedy house, them two houses on the corner down from the uh, uh, a city hall. I know y'all don't want him in y'all neighborhood. We don't even want him in ours. But let me just say this here. Those of y'all that's saying that Robert Hearns is not racist, and that's not a racist statement that he made talking about uh, uh, we give the town a black eye when we have our events, all you got to do is just listen to the words he said. Listen to the words what what uh, 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 white, uh, white side said. White side, the same thing. You see what I'm saying? You can see what white side said too. Said people is scared. They locking their door. He a damn lie. You see what I'm saying? They lock their doors. What I do is I'm going to walk around over there by Hill House and all that at nighttime. Believe me, I'll be able to protect myself if you come out there with them sheets on. I'm going to take them off your head. Y'all cowards. But if y'all don't start speaking up, you know, they, 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 they said people scared. People are scared of Barry Morgan. Y'all, look up Barry Morgan being arrested in, from by the Illinois State Police. That's what, that's what people are afraid of. Look at uh, John Blakely. Look at him can be, uh, 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 with, with David Robinson here in Charles, Missouri. Google up the David Robinson case. That's what people are scared of. But I'm going to show you another thing. They scared of Les Gillespie too. December the 7th, 2022. Beating on this girl though that he rent from because she didn't want to have sex with him. His wife don't. He don't have sex with his wife. He say he ain't attracted to her no more. It seemed like they said he attracted to his daughter. But he tried to get the girl and then he came beating on the door and y'all can hear. He said, it's my house. And the, and the sheriff deputy told him, you committing a burglary in, in a uh uh a battery, assault. Let's say this is my house. I can call Brent Farrell. Brent Farrell gonna take up for him because long as he doing it in the black community, I ain't gonna say no more. I just want y'all to look at again at the city council meeting on April the 9th, 2024 and listen to this thing when Lester Gillespie forced to, trying to force his way into one of his rental properties on at 603 Lee Street in Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County. That's what people are afraid of. They ain't afraid of no Labor Day thing. Peace be still. You get everything you need, sir.
Yeah, is there anything I, I, else that I, I, you yeah, needed? But I'm not leaving my property until so we go be together. I don't, else that I don't even trust her with you. Is there anything else that you... That, uh, okay, why well, don't okay. you trust her with me? Hold on, wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. stop. You did. You did. This is my house, huh? Stop. And you stop. own the house with your rent. Stop it. Fred, Fred, yeah. Okay, go on do what you're going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm taking a report. Yeah, and I'm going to call Fred. I can call Fred. Don't, do don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that to him because he ain't even done nothing. No, this is what I, you're I, doing. I, you can get on to everybody. I that door because she's in the way. But you get on to everybody. No, you're in an assault. You get on to everybody. And a burglary because you can't go into your house if you've rented it to somebody. Let me tell you what happened, sir. Uh-huh. You barged into the door. I've seen it. Yeah, I, the door was open. Y'all stop. The door was closed. And she was standing, and she was standing, and she was standing right there. And I, and I asked her, we're coming in. You pushed the door. You said she was the Now we can do this. You can leave or you can go to jail with me. How about that? Sir, listen to me now. Okay. Um, last month, in the last month, about Labor Day, I had some constituents asking me about what is going to be happening for Labor Day. And he said he would get back to me after he spoke to the council. I don't know when he had spoke to the council. Um, trying to see what's going on so we can come back and tell them are they going to be able to have something? No, uh, nothing after dark. What is that? I mean, at, at dark, it's going to, the park's going to shut down. What, is, what time? But we'll start shutting it down before dark so that by dark, everybody will be out of here. What's dark? I mean, I don't know what, it's 5 o'clock, 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock. Eight o'clock. <laughs> Last Labor Day, they had a softball tournament. It ran a little late, but it, uh, Charleston, the, the crowds down there have been such a bad black eye on the city and the social media bringing people to town, and we're just we're just kind of tired of it. So, hmm. okay. But it's it's dark. It's I mean, last year we had people going till four thirty, quarter five in the morning. It's, it's it's too much for the police and the, the, the you know as I said. It's just, it gets out of hand, so we're going to shut it. And the people that live in the area are rather tired of it, too. And so, the day when sundown is on September 6th. Yeah, but it basically at dark, it's going to be shut down. And it'd be kind of like shutting the park down at Zay Festival. But by, by dark, you move on. Charleston gets known as the party capital of Boot Hill, and that's it. <laughs> we're, we're not... We're going to be the unparty capital from now on. It's, With under a drinking, throwing guns around, and Well, uh, we did discuss possibly setting up a, a, police, a, a committee. Uh, we want to get through the dog with the W Festival first. But I know, I know Bobby talked to the Ministerial Alliance and several groups about uh, We've also talked to the I'm a patrolman uh, from this area about trying to get more organized and, and have a, a more of a community-wide effort. And, you know, we want everybody to celebrate Labor Day. We just want to keep our yes, residents safe. Yes, because the perception I just got was hurtful. Wow. I don't have none of that breakdown, but I'm, I'm glad I heard it. It was, good, it was a good perception. I received it, but I'm, I'm glad I heard it. Thank you. Anybody else? Any other? Members? Make a motion to adjourn. Motion made to adjourn, but I have a second. Oh, all in favor? I know, she never said goodbye. She never said goodbye. She never said goodbye. Did you get everything you need, sir? Yeah, is there anything I, 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 else that you yeah, needed? I'm not leaving my property until we go be together. Is there I don't, anything else that I don't even trust her with you. Is there anything else that you... That... Uh, okay, why well, don't okay. you trust her with me? <laughs> First of all, hold on, wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. You did. Stop. You did. This is my house, stop. huh? Stop. You own the house with your rent. Stop it. Fred, Fred. Yeah. Okay, go on do what you're going to do. I'm going to do what I'm doing. I'm taking a report. Yeah, and I'm going to call Fred. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that, don't do that to him because he ain't even done nothing. This no, is what I, you're I, doing. I, you can you I get on to that door everybody. She was in the way. But you get she on to everybody. No, she was an assault. You get no. on to everybody. And a burglary because you can't go into your house you're if you've rented it to somebody. Let me tell you what happened, sir. Uh-huh. You barged into the door. I seen it. Yeah, I, the door was open. Y'all stop. The door was closed. And she was standing right there. And I asked her, we're coming you in. Pushed it you pushed open. You said she was the Now sheriff. we can do this. You can leave or you can go to jail with me. How about that? Sir, listen to me. Okay. 